Act Dimensions provides you with a host of information to make erecting your cold form building easy. Understanding this information is critical for your customer and their builder. The key documents your customer will receive are the engineering drawings. After paying for and requesting engineering, you will receive these documents directly from the engineer. These plans are required to obtain permits for your building and contain all structural information on your building. Engineering drawings will vary from one engineer to another. Some will provide all of your information on just a few pages. Others will spread that information out over multiple pages. What's important is understanding the basic information these drawings provide and how they connect to the other construction documents. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of each page, you'll see two numbers in a box. The bottom number is the total number of pages and the number above is the current page. This tells anyone reviewing the plans how many pages they should have and what page they are currently looking at. In the case of our example, we're looking at page 1 of 12. The first page of your drawings includes several notices, including this one from ACT. In addition to these engineering plans, which always take precedence, you should have the following from ACT Building Systems. A construction package, installation manuals, and construction videos. Please contact your sales rep if you have not received these prior to starting construction. These materials, in addition to your order, all work together to make erecting your building easy. Also located on Sheet 1 will be a Design Project Criteria box, a Detail Key box, and a Wall Opening Schedule. On the engineering plans, you will see circles that have two numbers in them. The bottom number represents the page number, while the top number is the detail number on that page. You will typically find the first detail is the foundation plan, and on our example, the plan is labeled Drawing 1 on page 2. Additional drawings will show you sidewall and endwall elevations and a roof detail. You will also see a mezzanine plan if your building has a mezzanine. The foundation drawing is drawn from bird's eye view and shows many components in relation to the foundation. Items indicated on the plan include doors, sidewall and endwall columns, and X bracing, as well as dimensions of the outside of the building and center lines of critical components. You'll note the doors on the plans and elevations are indicated by a number in a circle and correspond to the information on the door and window schedule. On the foundation plan, you'll see a set of circles with a number inside and dark arrows. The number tells us which detail drawing is referenced by the arrow, and the direction of the arrow tells us how these elevations are viewed. You'll note that the sidewall elevations are exterior views, showing the building from the outside, while the endwall elevations are interior views, showing the building from the inside. The overhead diagrams also show us the base spacing and contain a series of diamonds with numbers. These numbers refer to the drawings we will find in the building's construction package, which we will review later. On each of the elevation views, we can see details of the building circled. Each detail is labeled with another circle containing a letter and a number. The letter on top identifies the specific detail, while the number below tells us what page contains that detail. In this example, we're looking for detail B on page 8. The latter portion of your engineering drawings include these details, each called out by a letter and page number. If we go to sheet 8, we will find detail B, showing us how the apex connections are made. You will see some details marked with a tab or a flag pointing in a certain direction. The letter and number, C8, tells us we're looking at detail C on sheet 8, while the flag tells us what viewpoint we're looking at in the detail. In this case, C8 is an endwall column to rafter detail. The flag tells us we're viewing it as if we were standing inside the building looking out. Every detail drawing includes not only a blow-up view of that detail, but notes on how that connection is to be assembled. It is very important that you read all of the text in each detail, as they give specific, vital information regarding the construction of your building. Your engineering drawings also include a detail drawing of the concrete slab. This will show the construction and requirements of the concrete slab. The last sheet also includes a list of general construction notes containing information about many building components. You may also see a member and material schedule. It is imperative you read through and understand all notes and information on your engineering plans. If you are hiring a contractor, bear this in mind, as you will want to find a contractor who is willing to do their prep work and study the details before attempting to start construction. The symbols shown on the ACT engineering drawings are standard, typical details for architectural plans drawn up in the U.S. Any contractor familiar with such drawings should have no trouble following them. The second document that will make your assembly easy is the construction package. The construction package can be 20 pages or more, depending on the complexity of your building. If there are any important notes about your building, they will be shown right on the front page below the table of contents. The first drawing in the construction package is the layout plan. Note the diamonds with the numbers across the top. 
These are the same markers we had on the engineering drawings, used to identify the five portal frames on our building. You'll note that if we look at the columns, the drawings show us what direction all the columns are facing. Each column is marked with a letter, and if we go to the next page, we will see details for each column. These details include the exact placement of the column in relation to the end walls and side walls, as well as the precise measurements to help us place the columns and anchor bolts. Note that the detail for the interior portals includes the center line. Each center line has a diamond that corresponds to the diamond on the layout plan. Moving on, you will see the next diagram is labeled Portal Section Frame 1. Going back to our engineering drawings, we can see which part of the building we're looking at by referencing the numbered diamonds. On this building, we have a drawing for Portal Frame Line 1, a drawing for 2, 3, and 4, and another drawing for Portal 5. Portals 2, 3, and 4 are the same, which is why there's only one drawing for the three interior sections. At the top right of each section drawing, we have a key that indicates what components are to be used on that section of the building, including a description and piece mark. These components are labeled on the drawing by their piece marks. You can see here this component, labeled RFTR, is listed on the key, along with the other piece marked items. When you receive delivery from the factory, the individual framing members will have piece marks printed directly on them. Everything you need to locate the components on the job site is right here. After each portal drawing, you'll find a set of detail drawings. Every connection shown on the portal drawing is shown in greater detail. You will also find QR codes on these details that can be scanned with a phone to bring up even greater details and videos online. Note that when we look at the detail page following the drawing for sections 2, 3, and 4, there's only one detail shown for the apex brace. That's because most of the details for portals 2, 3, and 4 are the same as shown for portal 1. If you look back at portal 1, there is no apex bracing. You'll use the details for the apex brace on these three portals and reference the details on the previous detail page for other connections. Continuing through the document, you'll find similar section drawings and details. Note that the diagram of the roof not only calls out the purlins by piece mark, but includes the lengths of the roof sheeting as well as the cross bracing. The door framing, too, is labeled with piece marks on the drawings as well as noted in the key at the top right. All of these components will come with piece marks printed on the actual piece. As we move further into the construction package, you'll see detailed drawings for every trim condition. Once again, you can use the QR codes provided to call up more details using your smartphone. There's one more document you'll want to have handy while assembling your building, and that's the order itself. It's best to print this document in Act Dimensions after your order has been placed. To print a copy, open the job in Act Dimensions, click File, then Print, and then Order. A full bill of materials will open in a Print Preview window. You can use the Columns to Print drop-down on the Print Preview window to select what information to include, and we strongly recommend including the Usage and Notes columns, which both contain vital information for your erector. The Usage column, for example, will indicate where and how a component is used. When a component is used in multiple locations, it will tell you how many pieces to allocate for each section. Let's look at the A325 bolts, for example. We know there are 268 bolts and nuts, but where do those pieces go? The Usage column tells us we will use 20 in the column anchor brackets, 160 in the haunch brackets, 80 in the apex brackets, and 8 in the end wall column anchor brackets. The Notes column contains additional information your erector will find vital. On most jobs, you will have panels, framing members, and trim that need to be cut on site. The Notes column calls out these components and may include quantities and lengths required. As noted on the engineering drawings, it is vital your customer and their erector receive all of these documents. By reviewing them in advance and referencing them on site, these documents will make your construction of your cold form building easy.